Hi, my name is Rich Lubbock, and today you're going to see how a simple invention allows you to generate enough electricity to slash your monthly power bill by 70, 80, or even 100% starting tomorrow. This innovation, used in the 1800s by American settlers to heat their homes and cook warm meals, can keep even a four-bedroom home heated to a comfortable 77 degrees, regardless if it's below zero outside. Now, I'm sure you're thinking there's no way this could be true. Well, up until a year ago, you'd have been absolutely correct. But thanks to a few simple modifications to this prairie generator made by one of the most brilliant engineers in the field of renewable energy, it's now something that every single American family can easily and affordably achieve. Something that takes your family off the grid entirely and completely cuts off your dependence on the greedy, money-hungry electricity cartels. An old invention reinforced with modern adjustments that guarantees your family will never be without power again. Whether there's a disaster, a cyber attack, or just a bad winter storm, you and your loved ones will be safe and secure. In fact, by the time you finished watching this brief presentation, you'll be outraged you ever put one single penny into the pockets of greedy power corporations, especially in about three minutes from now when I give you the instructions on how to set up this prairie generator for less than $200. Please click on the link below the video to watch the full content. If you are interested, I'll tell you how to fuel the entire thing using nothing but grass, sticks, hay, weeds, wood, even leftover vegetables from last night's dinner. This simple solution to energy independence will take you about three hours to make, and the design is so simple, even an eight-year-old child could make it on their own. So pay close attention for the next few minutes and make a note of the easy building instructions I give you. And the next time one of your family members cranks the thermostat up to 78 degrees or accidentally leaves the lights on in the family room all night, you can smile to yourself instead of hitting the roof because you'll feel absolutely zero stress, anger, or worry about what the costs will be. You'll already know the answer. It's absolutely nothing. Honestly, I'm so excited for you to join the 72,655 Americans who have already used this exact same energy generation method to free themselves from the clutches of big electric corporations. People like Stu Henderson of St. George, Utah, who says, You know, I'm already pretty stingy when it comes to energy use, and I didn't think it was possible to get my bill below $120, which I pay typically every month. After watching your great presentation, I was so impressed that I had to try it for myself. And all I can say is, wow! Not only were your building instructions so easy and simple to follow, I can't tell you how glad I was, how happy I was to see that first energy bill when it was only a measly $17. And you know something? Because of you, I couldn't be happy. Thanks again for putting all this information online for everybody to see. And Larry Hardwick of Fort Collins, Colorado, who says, Every single winter, I'd find myself getting into fights with my wife over the thermostat settings. My wife even went as far as calling me cruel, which kind of hurt my feelings. But while I hated to see her so miserable, the reality of it is, is that we could not afford to keep the temperature in our home over 67 degrees. Those are just a few of the thousands of stories I get from people across the country every month. Now I know you're probably curious and you want to know exactly how this simple system works right now. Honestly, you've never heard anything like this before. And in five minutes from now, you'll be furious you ever gave Big Electric or the gas company a single dime. So let me go ahead and tell you who I am and why I know a secret way to go completely grid-free while eliminating your electric bills and gas bills almost entirely, armed with nothing but a few garbage bags full of grass. Like I mentioned before, my name is Rich Lubbock. I'm 56 years old, and I live about an hour outside of Chicago in a town called Naperville. Now, living in Illinois, high energy bills were something I'd been dealing with my entire adult life. I certainly never liked having to pay $220 or more each month to keep my home warm during the winters or cool during our muggy summers. But I'd always just accepted that that's the way it goes. In the winter of 2011, however, that all changed. We'd just been hit with the first major winter storm of the season, more than five feet of snowfall in about 24 hours, and howling winds sustained at 30 miles an hour with, with gusts up to 50 miles an hour. Now that's nothing out of the norm for Illinois in late November, but this time it was different. The gale force winds ripped down the power lines in our neighborhood. We were completely without power. Our house was getting cold fast. And to make matters worse, my wife Lynn was eight months pregnant with our first daughter. Now, I tried calling the electric company on my cell phone to find out when the power would be restored, but all I got was this pre-recorded message saying they were aware of a problem, but it could be between 48 and 72 hours before the power would come back on. I didn't know what to do. I felt so helpless to protect my family. I went to the bedroom to see if Lynn was okay, and what I saw made me freeze in my tracks. 
She was lying on our bed, wrapped up in almost every blanket we had in our house, shivering and shaking uncontrollably. I could see the streaks of her tears as they ran down her cheeks, but they only got halfway down before they almost froze in place. I rushed to her and I wrapped my arms around her in a futile attempt to give her what little body heat I had, and that's when she said the words that made my heart stop. The baby. She won't stop kicking. Please click on the link below the video to watch the full content. If you are interested,